Um, so I've just read that um, Qatar has signed a t- ten-year um, deal to host a Formula One Grand race from from 2023 onwards. However, it will actually make its debut in 2021 i.e. later later on this season because of Australia I think um, that's the reason well, you know because we obviously can't um, we obviously can't race there um, and so so um, they're gonna do it they, they're gonna do the, the they're going to do the first uh, race actually this season um, and uh, they're not going to do one in 2022 because um, obviously um, they're holding the World Cup um, there. So the circuit they're going to going to going to use is called the Los Losail Los uh, International circuit it, it is it ha, has um it, it's going to be a 58 lap race uh, a lap is 5.4 kilometers uh, long uh, that that is approximately 3 3.5 3.355 mile, miles um, the, the total race distance is going to be 313 point uh, two kilometers which is approximately 194.61 um, three miles and um, you know um it's going to be fully lit um you know fully il- illuminated so um it's possible to have night races there um i think it's it's it would be awesome if we could have night races there uh, i must admit the only night race that I've that I've ever watched there was um, one time uh, I, I watched a MotoGP race there, um, you know, on TV. Um, there one time, um, and I, I I thought it was absolutely stunning, um, you know, the the re- re- reflections, you know, of of the paintwork of the bikes was absolutely stunning um, you know and it was um, originally originally um, built by the by the um, the Mo- country's motorcycle federation which is situated uh, not far away from uh, the north of the capital city Doha so I'm um, you know I, I I'm really looking forward to it and um, I can't wait and um, you know um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I mean as I said um, Formula One has never r- raced there before but we have had uh, GP Masters there uh, the uh, the uh, formula uh, the G- GP2 uh, Asia series, which is which is uh, you know, and then we had the world touring car races have also taken place there. So they have, and obviously the MotoGP has uh, taken place there um, as well. So um, so it. No doubt that they have enough enough experience in hosting 
big events. And as I said, it's gonna um, start, uh, you know, it's gonna be for 10 years, um, you know, and, and it's not, it's nice to have um, new tracks uh, coming to the, um, it, coming to the calendar. Um, I just hope um, that they're not going to extend the calendar too, too much because uh, I think uh, it's getting to the point where it's it's getting a bit much to the for the for the um, teams and the drivers and everybody involved as well because uh, I think we can't keep on having um, too many triple headers because. As I said, it, it, the, all the traveling takes it takes its toll on everybody, um, you know. But uh, you know, for us, for us fans, it, it's um, quite quite nice to have to play this. But uh, I think for the people that uh, work in Formula One, I think uh, uh, they they they. they we need to make sure that we don't overwork them, and uh, you know, um, unless we introduce, um, unless we introduce um, crew uh, team ro rotations, but uh, that's a whole di whole different kind of worms. So, uh, all in all, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it, um, and. Uh, I can't wait for the Qatar race later on in uh, this year. Obviously, it's a shame for Australia, but uh, you know, um, hopefully, we're going to be there back there next uh, next uh, year. And um, once all this COVID malarkey has sorted itself out. Um, in the meantime, uh, let me know what you guys think. In the comment section below and uh i speak to you later guys bye